I'm very unprofessional, Jason. Hi guys! So I haven't done a video in over a year, I don't think. It's been a long time. I've actually bought some guitars since the last video that I did. I bought, um, uh, there's a Firefly Silverburst over there, I'll show you later. There's an Epiphone Modern over there. I think I did a review on the, what is that middle one? Epiphone uh, 59 reissue or 69 reissue. <clears throat> but since then, I've moved. I bought a house. I had a house before when it was small. Uh, my dog died. <laughs> it's kind of gloomy. I got this guy here. He's a meatball. His name's Monty. I have a friend staying with me who is an excellent musician and a guitar player. So um, I bought three guitars. And <clears throat> actually four, but that's a secret. But I bought three guitars, and um, I wanted to do some reviews. I'm not going to keep them, probably. One of them, I, I, there's, there's one that I really wanted. And um, of the guitars I have right now, there's a few that I want to sell. My buddy's probably going to buy one of my early bins. Um, I have a few in cases. Oh, yeah, I also bought this. I don't think you can see it, but there's a HB 2000, HPZ 2005 uh, five-string bass. No, hey, get away from that. So we'll do the first of three unboxings. This one right here is the one he, Jay's behind the camera. This is the one he likes. It's called the JA20HH Active SBK. There's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of reviews <coughs> in the last month or so with this one saying that the is a ground issue. It works good for plugins when you're plugging into a interface, but when you plug it into an amp, it sounds like crap. So we'll see. He's fine. Hey, your bonehead. And of course, I always look to see if there's any damage. I don't think I got any B stocks. I think these are all brand new. So with a brand new one, you get the the cheap cable, which is nice to have for linking stuff together, but uh, they also gave me a 9 volt, which is good because I go through 9 volts like crazy. And here's the guitar. It's wrapped pretty good. Oh, it's heavy too. So this is the, um, who was this modeled after? Jim Roof, supposedly. <laughs> yeah, this is the one Jay likes. Alright. There's a little bit of sharp frets on it, but it's not terrible. Drum roll, please. Oh, this is heavy. This came from Germany. I think I ordered it. Today is, what's today? Saturday? A week ago? So a week ago, I ordered these three guitars and they came yesterday to New Hampshire in the U.S. That's crazy. I remember some of the first ones I bought. It took forever to get here. So there's plastic on the pick card. I'm not going to take it off in case... I guess I don't keep it. Look at that bridge though. That bridge is nice. I love these. One volume knob. I believe the whole guitar is mahogany. Even the neck. But I could be wrong. It could be maple. Uh, the tuning machines are kind of cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. They're jumping. There's a little bit of sharp frets, but it's not terrible. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, you know what I don't like about this? I don't think I like this neck finish. 
Like it feels good, but I think if you start getting sweaty, I think your hand's gonna stick to it. But brand new guitar, there's no blemishes. And there might be one that might be it kinda looks like buckle rash right there. That's something. I can't tell what that is. Active cavity. That's a good thing about it though. It's already uh, it's already ready to go for EMGs, so you can buy your EMGs, pop them in. You already have a good cavity. That's pretty sick looking. Jim Root, right? The fretboard, I believe, is rosacea, but it's really dark, so I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't just do like an ebony or something. The inlays on the side are off quite a bit actually. They're not centered. That sucks. The 12 right there. The 2 in the middle. They're too far that way. Again, this guitar was 100 and... Uh, I can't remember. 140, 130, right around there. 123. <clears throat> this is cheaper than the strap. The strap version. It's got a nice belly cut. Look at that. I love this bridge. Um, can I plug this in? Does it have anything that's on it? Yep, I do. Let's see how it sounds. I'm not going to play it. I just want to see how the pickup sounds. They sound like crap. Because I don't want this video to be too long. Let's actually hold on. One second. Let me pause this. Hurry. Does it need a. No, it's, it's on. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Active. You son of a bitch. I was trying to tune it and it wasn't working, and then Jay's like, battery. Oh, yeah. Active pickup. You being a good boy? Okay, so we will put this guy in. What the hell is that? There's a, there's a smudge on it. It looks like an R. Like somebody wrote something on it. Refund. Oh, it's just a fingerprint, but it had the shape of an R. That was weird. Weird. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I also had surgery since the last time I did a video. So. I'm a big crybaby. Alright, so that's in. Nothing. Nothing's happening. It's powered. Oh, that's cool. There's a little LED light in there. So you can see that the battery's in right. It's in the, little, in the switch here. You can barely see a little light. Alright, well, you know what? Where's my other tuner? Let me grab my other tuner. So we can stop screwing around. Okay, here it is. Well, I'm sure people want to watch videos of me tuning guitars. I got one.
is tuner, tuner don't feel very good. Go time. I need to get some editing software so I can cut all this shit out. <laughs> or just pause it. Maybe the next videos. If you want, I can, you can do the opening, I'll tune them, and then you can pause it, and then I'll hand them to you, yeah. like your guitar tech. Need to be polished. Plug in, bro. Plug in. You got a 6505 in back of you. We want to hear those actives. I need a cord, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't ever get fat. I don't know why this tuner didn't work. It's not fat, bro. It's big problem. I hope this amp jack is not messed up. It would just be stupid, which is possible. Alright, let's turn the volume down first. Uh, rhythm. up inside. Dead on arrival. Well, that's it. It feels really nice. It's definitely a good modding platform. Put some EMGs in it and fix, fix whatever's going on with this, but be fun. I don't know, it's 130 bucks. Am I even gonna bother sending it back? I could just put Goto tuners on it. Like 60 bucks. For the frame, it's totally worth a buck thirty. It's pretty sweet looking. Yeah. Hey, relax. As a skeleton, yeah. it's it's worth a buck thirty. But it could just be as simple as two wires not connected in here. Yeah. So we'll take it apart and look at it. That's it. At least as for a partial refund. Yeah, I might. I got the video too. That sucks. Perfect. Guitar one. I'm not going to throw it on the ground like Glenn did, though. <laughs>